when your textbook introduces early Buddhist art in China, they show you the tradition of rock cut caves that come along the Silk Roads for a couple of reasons. One, they're amazing, <laughs> right? These giant Buddhas carved out of the living rock, a tradition we saw in South Asia carried to Buddha, to, <laughs> excuse me, to China. And also because what's amazing about them is you can see this little doorway, these caves actually have these rock cut sculptures these gigantic rock cut sculptures have small caves you can actually go in there if you are a pilgrim or a monk and with this magnificent enormous figure of the buddha meditate in there but they're also showing it to you because the the form and the materials the rock cut cave sculpture shows you the path of Buddhism and the artworks associated with Buddhism from the founding region, right? The region of North India to Central Asia, because there was once a colossal rock cut Buddha with caves in Afghanistan that was preserving the fact that Buddhism moved northward and westward into Central Asia before moving along the Silk Road into China. Tragically, we can no longer view the, this particular colossal sculpture because the Taliban destroyed it in 2001. So this path along the Silk Road is how Buddhism came into China and with it brought this tradition which we will see over time China's own language of Buddhist art will develop rather than just a, a tradition that has already been established.